Thank you for inviting me to provide a short message to you all on what I know was supposed to be the NUA Scotland Student Mental Health Conference. I would like to take this opportunity to commend the Think Positive team who have repurposed the project to address the mental health and well-being of students and the challenge posed by COVID-19. It's also testament to the Think Positive project team at NUS Scotland that they've embraced technology and have created such an interesting day of interviews and online discussion about student mental health for us all to learn from and to engage with further. I know that they would like the conversations that you have today to carry on through their hashtag on Twitter. The Scottish Government is very aware of the challenges faced by students at this time. And we are also working closely with the Scottish Funding Council so that institutions can continue to recruit additional counsellors and to offer counselling support to students in an appropriate non-face-to-face -face format. Today, I'm sure you will be looking forward to hearing the interviews with universities, colleges and other important stakeholders at a time where speaking to each other and sharing best practice is now more important than ever. Ensuring that we are learning from each other and providing the best support we can is vital to making sure that students, those working in the further and higher education sectors and organisations that provide support and advice are listening and engaging with each other. I know NUS Scotland though, through Think Positive, are currently working across the sector so that best practice and resources are shared and to ensure that colleges and universities across Scotland can provide the best support to their students during this time. The COVID-19 restrictions have affected all of our lives. It's crucial that during these unprecedented times that we find ourselves in, that we take care of our mental health and our physical health. People who may never have been affected by mental health issues in the past are now experiencing emotional distress due to bereavement, social distancing, and the other changes that have impacted on our day-to-day -day lives. I would encourage anyone who thinks that they need additional support for their mental health to speak to friends or to family about how they're feeling or to seek out further support online or by phone. We've recently provided additional funding to NHS 24 and Breathing Space to ensure that anyone who requires support can receive it. In addition, more information about how to keep yourself mentally well during this period can be found through our Clear Your Head campaign, which was launched recently. It's now more important than ever to speak openly about how we are feeling and to seek support when we need it. Thank you again for inviting me to say a few words to mark this national conversation about student mental health. I look forward to attending the rescheduled conference in October and I hope that you all have an enjoyable day and an informative one too. Thanks.